am not fully satisfied with your findings, investigator. I will not let, let your inevitability to fulfill your job jeopardize my case. My valuable time and resources will not be wasted on your bonding time with your best friend. If you continue to waste our resources on finding invaluable items, I'm afraid we'll have to terminate you. You have been assigned with a whole new task, because you did horrible with your last one. And this is to gather data from the servers of the facility. There's no way you can fail on this one. Find out what you can. I'm counting on you. Okay, we're here. Welcome to the Jolly Entertainment Underground Facility. Not sure why they even bothered making an underground facility. Must be hiding something. God, the signal in here is awful. <sighs> Let's see. Oh, I'm getting a reading from a possible animatronic in there. Here, I'll put it on your map. You can use your phone's night vision and your camera's flash to look around the place. Invalid keycard, please return to your quarters, intern. Wait. <coughs> intern? Hello, astronaut, war hero, or Olympian. My name is Kevin, Kevin Johnson, the CEO of Jolly Entertainment, and welcome to the Jolly Entertainment Underground Facility. Housing one of the most advanced electronic robots ever constructed by man, this place attracts criminals like some kind of gold bank. And that's why we need guards, but not just any guards. This place needs one of the best security guards out there, and you're here to prove yourself. As part of the requirements to be an official night guard in this facility, we need you to guard this place for at least five whole nights. But it won't be easy. We've placed two deadly robots in this facility to prepare you for the real thing. And your job is simple. To survive. I bet you heard that one before. The cost, if you fail to get these robots off you, is death. Now, don't worry. If you pass this test, you get to be a real security guard with a big, fat, juicy paycheck every month. Imagine that. Now, you might be asking yourself, how in the heck do I defend myself from these robots? Well, let me teach you how. Every facility has a signal jammer in the case a robot goes haywire. If you look behind you, you'll find a control panel with a bunch of paths in it. But the one you want to focus on is the jammer. Use this if one or both of the robots get in your doors. That's the only way to deactivate them. But remember, when used wrongly and no animatronics are at the doors, the jammer will reboot for a long time, disabling you from using it. If you know where they are, you can use the radar found on the same panel. The radar reboots for quite a while, so use the camera instead when the coast is clear. Okay, uh, let's see. Uh, oh, the other thing. If you look over the control panel, there is a maintenance tab. Use this if the cameras, vents, or the air conditioning system to go offline for some reason. There's, um, uh, anything on? Uh, okay, I think that's everything. Check the cameras, use the cameras if anyone's at your door. It's a cake, right? Don't do that. 
This is the Pierre Gordon message. Okay, I just started working here, and I'm already seeing things that other people aren't seeing. One time, I was just looking through the cameras, and each time I saw an animatronic, something just appears in front of me. Looking back, or looking at a camera that didn't have anything in it, seemed to make it go away. For a little while, at least. Why am I even doing this? Recording testing log number one. Today's subject to death is subject one. Code name Jolly. Begin phase one of the testing protocol. Activating subject in three, two, one. It has been three hours since the subject was activated, and we've noticed that it stops moving when it's monitored by our security cameras. Documenting results. Beginning phase two of the testing protocol. The purpose of this test is to evaluate the animatronics fire accident response system. The facility's temperature will be turned up in three, two, one. It has been three hours after the second phase has been initiated, and it seems the subject is not following its traditional patterns when being monitored by our cameras. Documenting results. Recording testing log 3. Today's subject to test, subject 2. Codename, Antonet. Beginning phase 1 of the testing protocol. Activating in 3, 2, Congratulations, son! You, insert your turn name here, have completed a five-day test. As a reward for your hard work, you get the work here, full time. I now grant you access to the facility fully. You can now also access the fancy bathroom down there. How cool is that, eh? Remember, come back tomorrow at 12 a.m. so you can start your first shift as an official night guard. Um, dude, we have a problem. The, the oxygen system's been tampered too much. You need to fix it immediately or you will die there. Here, I'll send you the coordinates to the control room. Back to business, shall we?
Access granted. This is it. This is where our lives change forever. Are you ready?
Thank <laughs> you.